What's good everyone, it's your boy Yadig, 4 eyes, 2 Gs here, and today we're here to talk about Playboy Cardi, Young Nudie, and the collaborative track, Kid Cardi slash Pissy Pamper. Now, I know this track has been talked about a lot within the community, however, after my Cancun video, someone did ask me to do a Kid Cardi one, and it did get a lot of likes, so shout out to this guy, I'm gonna break it down for you, and I've also got some exclusive information at the end that not a lot of people are talking about, and I think it's really interesting, so let's break it down. First of all, big shout out to everyone who tuned into the live stream today and yesterday. Comment down below if you did. Much love. If you guys want to know when I go live, make sure to turn on notifications. I'm going live a lot more. Also, at your dig on Instagram, man, go follow your boy, go support, drop a follow, show some love. I'm pumping out the content for y'all, but let's keep it pushing and move on to Kid Cudi. Okay, so Kid Cudi was originally teased around early 2019, and it was basically this snippet right here, which went viral. <laughs> And as we know now, it was originally a young nudie track with Cardi on the feature, and the title was originally called Pissy Pampa. However, this snippet went so viral that it kind of got dubbed Kid Cudi for obvious reasons. And when I say the snippet went viral, I mean viral. This is a meme that was just to the snippet of the song that has 1.5 million views alone, and this is just one of many examples. Now, keep in mind the song wasn't leaked at this point. This then leads us to Slamia, the collaborative project between Young Nudie and Pierre Bourne, which was released on May. 8th. Now, if you guys haven't listened to this project, do yourself a favor, go listen to it. Nudie and Pierre do not miss. Now, what happened around this date is that the song would actually leak. As we can see right here, this is a leak thread from Hip Hop Heads, and it got nearly 2k upvotes. This just kind of shows how highly anticipated this track was, just based off the snippet alone, because it got bolstered so much by the memes. And Nudie would go on later to confirm that the song hadn't been released due to sample clearance issues. The Playboy Cardi featuring song samples Tasogari, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Japanese singer Mei Yamane. Now this is where the theory that the song was deliberately leaked by Nudie's camp comes from, because if they knew they couldn't clear the sample, that means they knew they couldn't release it officially ever. So knowing how anticipated the snippet was, they basically just let the song leak, knowing that would build up hype and kind of bring people into Slamia. Now one thing I don't think anyone in this equation, not Cardi, not Nudie, not Interscope, not Nudie's team, predicted was just how viral this song would go. As you can see right here, it was reported on May 21st, not too long after the song leaked, that a leaked upload of Playboy Cardi's Kid Cudi is currently number one on Spotify's US viral top 50 chart. Now that is literally insane to see a leak that's not even uploaded officially go to the top of the viral charts. And this is just one upload on one platform. Imagine all the songs across YouTube, SoundCloud, and all the other uploads on Spotify. I remember there was this video on YouTube that had like 30 plus million views alone. Now in my opinion, and I know a lot of you guys share the same opinion. This was kind of like one of the biggest F-ups from Indoscope and Cardi and Nudie during this whole, whole lot of red rollout because we know how hyped the snippet was. We know how viral the snippet went. We know how viral the actual track went. So imagine if it was actually properly released and had money behind it. This could well have been Cardi's biggest song ever. And what kind of doesn't make sense in this whole sample clearance issue is because the song would actually go on to be remixed by Xavier Wolf, the SoundCloud OG himself, and actually up uploaded on Spotify, which is a streaming service, which means that it's kind of official in a sense, and will go on to get nearly 11 million plays. So this always kind of confused me, because if this song was allowed to be uploaded with the very same beat and the very same sample on Xavier Wolf's official Spotify, why weren't Interscope, with the amount of money they have and the amount of budget they have, able to clear the very same sample and able to upload it officially? That's kind of like the million dollar question, and I wonder if we'll ever get that answer. Anyways, let's continue on with the story. So as we know, it leaks, it goes viral, and this is where the song continues to go viral and probably even gets more viral as time goes on. Not too long after it leaked, GOAT YouTuber, an absolutely hilarious person, Lenar Young, would kind of do this little skit for the video that, as you can see right here, is at over 6 million plays. So imagine if those 6 million views were being funneled into an official version on Spotify or something like that. That would be huge. Then on top of this, again, just like with Cancun, we've seen TikTok ruin yet another 
another Cardi song. This one, in my opinion, is a little bit more cringe than the Cancun one. But yeah, as we know, TikTok is so powerful as a platform today. It has the ability to turn an unknown song into a hit. And just imagine if all this engagement was going to an actual official version. As I said, it would have been all over the charts and would have been a huge hit. Now, in addition to this, Cardi would continue to spur on rumors of the song's eventual release with him performing it live on multiple occasions again and again, which you can see right here. Now, although despite everything going on and just like with that Cancun situation, despite it going viral multiple times, despite it getting all this organic engagement and despite it being uploaded on Xavier Wolf's official Spotify, literally not a single word was said from Cardi's camp or Interscope about the status of this song and whether it was actually going to release. Now, this is when we get to an interview that happened at the top of this year between Young Nudie and Complex. And this is super interesting because I don't think this interview got any sort of press at all because I haven't seen this posted or talked about. Let's break this down. Your leaked song with Playboy Cardi, Kid Cudi slash Pissy Pamper blew up last year, but it's still not out because of sample clearance issues. What are your feelings about that situation now? I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Looks around at management and laughs. Now I'm going to fill in the blanks right here. This is when Nudie looked at his management and looked at his publicist who advised him on what to say on interviews in order to get the right message and the right promo out and ask them, what the fuck should I say? Should I lie? Should I tell them the truth? What should I say? And then once they had a discussion, they came back to the interview. Quote, I ain't got nothing to say. Shit, I don't know. One day, one day, one day, one special day, it gonna be spectacular. Then gonna be happy as hell. It might just come out of the blue. Now, I don't know guys. Again, this might be just a crazy theory, but to me, that sounds like Nudie knows something that we don't and wants to say something, but he can't because his publicist is right there. If I was to guess, and maybe I'm giving Interscope too much credit for saying this, but Interscope would be literally stupid if they could release this song and don't put it on a whole lot of red in some way, shape, or form. I'm thinking something like a deluxe version, similar to what Uzi did with Eternal Take, where he puts like all the anticipated leaks and all the anticipated snippets just for the fans on the deluxe version. I know Cardi himself probably wouldn't want to do that because it does kind of infringe on that whole mystique image he has, but at some point, Cardi needs to realize that image is just actively hurting his career. And how many times is he going to let that get in the way of a potential hit song? and growing his career and taking it to that next level. I don't know, maybe Cardi is just happy with where he's at right now and he doesn't think it's time to really go to that next level, but that might just be me rationalizing this situation. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Let me know if you think Kid Cudi is ever going to release. Let me know if he's still keen to hear it, all that good stuff. And before we finish this video, guys, I want to give a couple quick shout outs from the Instagram. Big shout outs to DNTX and also Geo underscore Flores898. Much appreciated you guys for following me over on my IG. At you dig if you don't follow your boy make sure you go follow show me some love over there also like subscribe turn on notifications to know when i go live on my youtube and there are more videos of mine on screen right now make sure to check them out if you haven't